we are reviewing episode two of now Girlfriend Girlfriend. So if you haven't watched my episode one review, please do watch that. But where we left off was um they're now living together and now they're we're gonna uh um, now we're they're gonna sleep now. They're gonna go to sleep. As you can tell, there's futons out there where they're gonna sleep all three together. They're not gonna have go in one room or they somebody sleeps on the couch. So yeah, pretty much. Is, I like we got to see how Saki reacted to what Noyo wanted to happen, which is he wants to date the both girls. So we saw her reaction. We saw her displacement, displeasure. They went to his house. He says he lives alone, and now we get to see Nagisa, Nagisa. Um. Um, like how she actually uh, feels because they're both asleep and now they are both asleep. She's contemplating if uh, even if this situation is going to last and if it is not going to last then he, she wants to try to win the heart of Noya. So while they are sleeping, uh, Saki thinks that she's going to, they're going to do something and it felt because she was pretending she was going to sleep, thinking that uh, Nagisa was going to do something with Noya while she's asleep, so she stayed awake. And then she she started hearing things that sound like um, they're doing something lewd or perverted. And she woke up and <laughs> she just wanted to sleep. She said, she used an excuse of uh, saying that she wants to just sleep next to Noya, call up to him, cuddle next to him, sleep right next to him. Yeah, so um, yeah, Nagisa. Yeah, Nagisa wakes up early so she can start uh, making their food, their breakfast, and then she starts having that um, thought to herself, like if 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 this thing is not gonna last, then I have to try to win Noya's heart because she assumes that it's not gonna last, even though Noya wants it to last, and um, she actually told him that yes, I I'm I'm in your school. Because we get to know what class she's in. She's a first year. She, we get to uh, know that she didn't go to school for a couple of months, it seems. Maybe a couple of weeks or months. A month. So she can start getting... Um, she says she started working out. Started learning how to cook. Started do, She wanted to do everything she could to win Noya's heart. So she w didn't go to school to do all this other stuff. So she can uh, uh, please Noya and do this. Uh, that <laughs> she she wanted to do uh do that she felt that that was more important than going to school so Noya gets upset about that and they try to teach her some arithmetics and a little bit see where she's at and yeah she is not good at math or anything she she's not prepared to go to school right now so she when she comes back she might be not good at uh, what they're doing she's gonna be back. She has to learn on the go or she has to learn really hard and try to study herself so that she can um, at least try to move up with them at the same time because they're both in the same grade. The first, All three of them are the first years. And she need, in order for her to keep uh, keep going and being with Noya, she has to also um, graduate to the next grade or move up to the next grade while they go, they're going up and to the next grade. Um, Saki says that she's not good at math, but she's um, she's good enough to pass basically. So she has she's also there to try to help her out, and Noya's there to help her out, trying to get the grasp of where she's at when it comes to education. So now they're at school. They don't want her to feel like they were what they she was barely starting to come in. They, nobody knew her. She went into school. Nobody knew her. Like what? Why is this person here? Some people were saying that she was cute, which is Nagisa, and uh, they were both feeling bad that because they're the only ones that know her, but they don't want to, they don't want to just go up to her and say, "Hey, what's up, um, Nagisa?" And then they assume, "Oh, you know this person? How you know them?" And then people start asking questions like, "How you know her? How you, how did you get to know her? What, what is she to you? And do you know why she's not at school?" See, because people are gonna start asking questions, but Noya doesn't want to lie to anybody so she wants to be up front like he did in the first episode where he was up front with her like hey i want to date both of y'all i don't want to just date i don't want to just leave you saki and just be with nagisa i want to also be with nagisa and also want to be with saki you which is you 
And he goes up to her because he felt bad, like, ah, man, why is nobody going up and trying to approach her? So, you know what? Hey, um, Nagisa. And then mm, she's like, hey, I'm, I am Noya. And then Nagisa say, hey, Noya. And then, oh, hey, I'm Nagisa. And they start introducing each other. And then he starts feeling even better because he wants to know everybody. He wants to let the world know because he doesn't like having his truth. He doesn't like hiding the truth. He doesn't like lying to people. So he wants to actually tell people what the hell is going on with uh, with Nagisa and Saki. And he wants to tell them that, yeah, I'm dating both of them. And uh, the reason why she was in that school is because she was literally trying to uh, literally training to, uh, to be able to try to confess to me and that's why she was in at school for the fuse maybe a couple of weeks maybe a few months maybe the first two months and then yeah just because if she was gone the whole half of the year then that then, then then yeah that's not good but if she's gone for like a couple of like maybe one or two months then she'd be able to she can possibly able to uh, pass to the next grade to go and start following them so that's the thing that they had to deal with throughout this whole episode. Um, Nagisa, is, it was more focused on Nagisa than the other two, which it was part of it, Saki, where she was still contemplating if she actually wanted to do this. And if um, Noya wanted to, she could just leave her and because uh, Nagisa is more beautiful, more better looking. She is more, uh, uh, has a better body than she does. So she's very like, if I, if I tell him no, then he's going to choose Nagisa. As well. So Saki, we're still dealing with Saki in this little bit of a little bit of part, and more in Nagisa. So we, that, that now we get to see they're both uh, for for these two episodes. What these two women have to feel, um, or two girls have to feel, and have to deal with with Noya's decision of dating these uh, dating two, dating them two. She uh, Nagisa doesn't know if this is gonna last long and. Saki doesn't want it to. She wants Noya for herself, as well as Nagisa wants Noya for her for herself. So she, they're both trying to see if they can. They're both trying to see if they can work it out with Noya and see if they can both be with him. Or if not, then they're trying to win his heart. That's what they're contemplating in each other for the first episode for Nagisa. The second episode for. Mm, no, not not the first episode was Saki. The second one is Nagisa. So that pretty much was it throughout this whole episode. That was all it. That was everything. We get a lot of drama. We get a lot of drama. Her looking into Saki's phone, seeing what she can pull up on her, seeing what she has in her phone. So she literally looked into Saki's phone and tried to see what, try to understand how she. Uh, um measuring this situation here and she looked at her private twitter and then she sees something that she read and then she saw something that she liked that she read that she didn't like she didn't like this situation but she can't like saki doesn't like this situation but she can't um say no no or like she loves also nagisa no not not in a romantic way but she she does. She thinks that she's a good person. She doesn't want to upset her, so that's also was going. That was also what she found out in her phone. So, but she found a lot of stuff on her phone that she's like, this is all she, she thinks about. She there's a lot of Louis. She look, looks up a lot of Louis stuff for Noya. <laughs> so yeah, that's what's going on. And thank you. Uh, that was it, guys. That is it. Hope to see you in the next video. Uh, next video in, uh, in a whole week. See you next time, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, and hit the share. This ep I'm starting to like this series more and more, and I and I do want to watch. I know I know it's finished, but I'm I want to watch it slowly, and I want to enjoy it because I really I really enjoy this anime series. It's pretty good. I'm looking the progress, the development on these two. We got to see both sides. We got to see one side already on the first one, which is Saki's side on what what she actually thinks about what the situation they're in, and now we got to see Nagisa's side and what she feels about the situation they're in, and it's pretty. Uh, and that's what we got to see, and I hope to see. We hope to see more 
on the char character development, you get to see more of Noya and what he actually thinks about this. We know that he wants this, but we want to see how much does he want this or how much does he care about this or how much he doesn't want to accept any, uh, upset anybody. So hope to see you next time, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Like I said, hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that bell, hit that share, and I'll see you next time, guys. Peace out.